All right, guys, Espo Strap Baseball Network. I am, as my arm just goes careening through the front of the screen, I'm semi over the fiasco that happened before. Um, so, yeah, I was 29 minutes into the video, and as the video was going on, I was finished. I look up to shut off the video, and it says, unfortunately, your camera has stopped working. I thought, okay, maybe I just lost, like, the last minute or so, and I could just do an amendment and splice them together. No, lost the entire video. Uh, infuriated is an understatement. Um, saved everybody's ears the expletives that I unleashed after I posted the minute and 30 second video. So, um, that being said, uh, I'm very, very sorry. I think the next game, I'm going to just invest in the screencast on Matic and uh, do my games off of there. So, anyway, uh, this is a recap of day one of the, uh, the, the special project. So, the first game was the Kansas City Royals against the Los Angeles Dodgers. And the final score was 6-2 Kansas City, believe it or not. Uh, Brett Saberhagen picked up the win. He went complete game. He had four hits, given up, one walk, eight strikeouts, two runs all earned. Um, looking over at Koufax, Koufax did not have a good game. Seven innings, five hits, two walks, five strikeouts, six earned, uh, four, uh, six runs, four earned. The reason why only four of the runs were earned were McMullen um, playing third base that game at a blistering 3-E-34 actually had two errors in the game. So, uh, not a good day overall. Uh, Kansas City jumped out to a quick 2-0 lead, tacked on four more in the sixth to make it 6-0. Six uh, Dodgers scored two on uh, on back-to-back -back base hits by Frank Howard and uh, Ron Fairley. And uh, that was really it about this game. Saberhagen was in, in complete control. Uh, Bo Jackson, uh, one of the reasons why I took the 87 Royals, uh, was 0 for 4 with the strikeout and a run scored. Danny Tartable, 2 for 3, two runs scored, a homer, and two doubles. Uh, and Kevin Seitz were also added in a hit. So not exactly tearing up the tearing up the hit column for the for the Royals, but they did manage to strike when it was most important and most uh, lucrative for for them, and they win the game 6-2. So that's the first game of the day. Scroll down to game two which was played, and that was the 67 Cardinals and the 06 Mets. 5-0 uh, Cardinal win. Game was never really in doubt right from the beginning. Uh, Steve Carlton, lefty, goes the distance, gives up four hits, no walk, strikes out nine, and no earned. And then as we pan over here, Tom Glavin went six innings. He got the loss, gave up nine hits, two walks, five strikeouts, four runs, all earned. And Aaron Heilman came in and uh, mopped up for three innings and gave up a run as well on a hit. That run on the hit was a Shannon home run. Uh, Shannon went uh, one for three with a homer and two RBIs. Tim McCarver started off the scoring for Seattle, uh, Seattle, St. Louis with a RBI double in the first inning, bringing home Lou Brock. Brock had a uh, stolen base as well in this game. He went two for five. So definitely, like I said in the beginning, it was going to be that Lou Brock and Ricky Henderson battle. And uh, so far, I haven't, haven't played with Oakland yet. So Lou Brock right now has the stolen base lead out of the two of them. Uh, Bob Tolan was two for four with a triple and an RBI. And Orlando Cepeda added a single as well. Looking over at the uh, Mets, not really much to talk about here. Uh, Reyes had a single. Laduca had two hits. Uh, for a while in this game, Laduca was the only one hitting. Uh, Beltran added a meaningless double in the in the bottom of the ninth that did nothing. And, uh, yeah, that was really it. Uh, David Wright was 0-4 with three strikeouts. Uh, Valentin was 0-3 with three strikeouts. And then finally, the game that I was supposed to show you guys, and it pisses me off because it was an amazing game, uh, real just as you can see, I didn't even add the positions and ratings because I had it on here. So I wound up filling everything out here while I was talking to you guys, and just lo and behold, nothing happened. So, uh, 2001 San Francisco Giants at the 93 Mariners. Mariners win this game 8 6. Absolute slugfest. Mariners jump out to a 4 0 lead. Giants tie it up. Mariners add attack on in the third. And three more in the sixth. Then Randy Johnson started to collapse as someone was playing awful music outside. Uh, added two runs in the eighth. And then uh, Randy Johnson came out and Charlton was able to get the save. So looking at uh, the pitches in this game, Kirk Ruder, who gets the loss, goes five and a third. That's what the point three means. It's easier for me 
to uh, when I do the stats, you see 5.3. It's a lot easier to, to point three is a third of an inning, point seven is two thirds of an inning. It just averages out better when I do the ERAs. Uh, five and a third, 11 hits, four walks, two strikeouts, eight runs, all earned. Chad Zerb came in to mop up, went two and two thirds, gave up two hits and struck out two. Randy Johnson, who gets the win, look at this line seven innings, 10 hits, nine walks. Six strikeouts, six earned, uh, six runs, and they were all earned. Charlton comes in, goes two innings, gives up a hit, strikes out two, and gets the save. Um, yeah, he had zero control in this game. I mean, it got to a point that if I pull up the regular stats here, if we can see this. So if you look at this, he walked somebody in almost every inning. Uh, he just couldn't control and it's typical randy johnson i mean think about it 1993 uh he wasn't exactly he wasn't randy johnson yet like he wasn't at that level so it was interesting to see that kind of play out and the san francisco giants are a really good team and it's surprising that i really thought san francisco was going to walk away with this game but can't sleep on the mariners uh but jerry will be happy to know that Bonds went 0 for 3 with two walks and three strikeouts and a run scored i uh, could not get anything going uh, Rich Aurelia, who went to my high school uh, in Brooklyn, um, he was 3 for 5 with a homer and two RBIs. Galarraga had an RBI. John Vanderwall had two doubles and, and two RBIs. Benito Santiago had a hit and an RBI. Uh, just an overall good game, 11 hits, but couldn't do anything uh, to, to beat this. And this was amazing. My, um, Brett Boone had a homer, second at bat of the game. Tina Martinez was 2 for 4 with two homers and three RBIs. Dave Valley uh, had a homer as well, uh, out of nowhere. Um, so eight runs on 13 hits and one error, which was a two-base error by Mike Blowers uh, at third. Uh, really didn't amount to anything as it happened in the, uh, let me see here, it happened in the one, two, three, fourth inning, and uh, nothing came across for the Giants in that inning. So those are the first three games. Uh, let me go over here to the next set of stats so we can take a look at this so here is seattle's stats that are in the game now and in my in the book and i'll go to the standings and after a while i will change how everything looks here so it's a little jarbled but seattle st louis and kansas city all won they're technically in first uh the dodgers the mets and the giants lost they were game back and everybody else who hasn't played yet is a half game back. So the next games on the list are going to be, as I should have had this maximized to begin with. All right. So day two is the same three games. And then I have seven playing nine and eight playing 10. So seven and nine and eight and 10. Let's see who that is. So it's seven Toronto at the Yankees. And we have the Reds at Oakland. Might show this if I can get it playing. I might show the um, this, this Toronto and Yankee game. I think that would be kind of interesting. I think the first matchup in that is Figueroa and David Price, which would be a good matchup. Uh, the other game being Cincinnati and Oakland. Um, probably not the best matchup in the world to kind of showcase, but uh, if not, then I'll probably go to the uh, go to one of the games that I played earlier in the day. Probably the uh, what was the second game that I played the other day? Probably St. Louis and the Mets. So that being said, Espo Strap Baseball Network, keep rolling, and we'll talk again soon.